Hello everyone, my name is Hayden Davidson and welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video, I want to talk about opportunity overwhelm and sort of how to decide what strategy is best on Amazon in 2021, rolling into 2020, uh, 2020? 2020 into 2021. Now, I don't know about you, but I find it completely overwhelming the amount of opportunity that is currently on Amazon. Those that say Amazon is dead, they have no idea what it's like once you're sort of a year into the business. When you're sort of a year in or eight months in or nine months in, you start to realize, you start to realize the true potential of Amazon when you start to uncover results within yourself and you start to uncover the truth behind multiple opportunities. There's so many opportunities, but the problem is that we get stuck deciding what opportunity is best and we get fear of missing out on opportunities that we, f we fear that we're going to miss opportunities by going after the wrong opportunities. Now, I just did a recent post about this, this in my private Facebook group, Amazon FBA Journeys Live, and the response I got was that most people have been through this, most people also have been through this, so I thought it'd be a good idea to do a video on how I've decided to sort of tackle this issue, because it is an issue. If you get stuck on opportunity overwhelm and you never fully go into one or two or three strategies, then you could just spend the next few years in Amazon not really getting huge results because you're too busy still trying to figure out and not miss out on other opportunities and other strategies when actually the people that are succeeding in this game have gone after one or two but generally one in Amazon strategy and they've become a master of it so I think it's really important just to do a video on this just to just to cover this for some people so let's look at it from the outset the different strategy if you've got vanilla OA, just your normal regular OA stuff with your deal sheets, your VAs, etc. You've got that stuff, right? You've got retail arbitrage, okay? You've got wholesale, you've got manufacture deals, brand deals, okay? Which is, you know, can be big boy stuff. Well, this all can be big boy stuff. It depends how you want to play it, right? So you've got manufacture deals, you've got brand deals, you've got private label, coffee sip. You've got private label, okay? You've got bundles. You can create your own bundles. You've got unique bundles where you can create your own sort of private label bundles. Some of you may not know about that. There's all these different opportunities within Amazon. You've got higher priced items with higher profit but more risk. You've got lower selling, uh, lower BSR rank, fast selling products, low profit, but you can get your money back into your account quickly. I know people, the truth of the game is, right, how you start to decide what strategy is right for you, right? I had to take a sit back and think to myself, what do I actually want to achieve next year and the year after? And more importantly, what's my long-term goals? Because the truth is, the truth is, I know people, I know people, or I know of people, of people that have been successful in every single one of them super niches, I like to call them, that I just mentioned. I know successful people that are making a lot of money in every single one of their niches. So it becomes not a case of missing out. It doesn't become a case of missing out. It doesn't become a case of having to choose because others are doing it and you feel like you're missing out. What you should be doing is thinking about what's right for you. What are your long-term goals and what are your life goals behind your Amazon goals? Because all of this infrastructure that you get sorted before is going to help you in the future. If, 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 if you don't want to be flooded with work in two or three years, excuse me, four years or whatever, then don't start all of these and don't go all in and don't get a warehouse and don't have 20 staff members doing manufactured deals because you're going to be really busy. Perhaps OA is the right lifestyle business choice for you. Do you see what I mean? And just get a small team, keep it small, or just do it on your own and have a really lifestyle choice. So the important thing to do is, 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 is what I realized is that, as I say, I know people that are successful in every single one of these businesses. So as long as you've got the motivation, as long as you've got the hard work driven into you, because it will be hard work to start with and it will you will have to work hard and smart to start with, I believe, as long as you're willing to do that, which is sort of an entry level requirement in any of these strategies, 
As long as you're willing to put in the groundwork, you can achieve success in any one of these fields within Amazon. So the choice, the choice becomes all yours. It's about you. It's not whether the opportunity is going to, you're going to miss out on another opportunity. It's what is right for you. So you've got to sit there and you've got to think about your long-term goals, where you want to be, how much work you want to be doing, what sort of lifestyle do you want to create, and then work backwards and think to yourself, what strategy is right for me? Not shiny penny syndrome, what's right for other people, or what the latest fad is. Because as I said, I know people are successful in all these fields. So the choice is yours. And I want to just convey that message just to help anyone out that's feeling overwhelmed, just like I was, you know. So... Anyway, I hope that's been of some help to some people and I will see you in the next video.